like to demonstrate how flood look like in different condition. So this it just being really soft, super soft, slimy. It is too wet. And there are some water after I add some water. So after this I can just try to add some dry flour and see if there's any changes. And it gets a little bit less slimy, more solid, but it is still way too wet. So one thing I can do is try to add more strong flour. This is strong flour from Audi. Because now it is super wet, so try to add super lots of flour and see how it helps. So basically, it is still too wet. I just trying not to touch it. I'm trying to add more flour. So the texture it gets better instead of being super sticky to my fan or being too slimy. It just turned into a texture that makes sense. So now the dove is beautiful. Not too slim, slimy and it can be taken off my hand with just a little bit of friction. So this is a sign of good dove. Yeah, I'm going to show you what happens when a dove is being too dry. So this time I'm going to add more flour and I put it in the machine so that it doesn't stick to my hand okay So I'm putting my machine Let's turn And then give, and then give it a little bit of support right. It's just getting flecky Flecky, you see There are flecks, flecks It is visible that there is a lot of powder on its surface.
try to pull prep because inside there's still a lot of moisture. This is how bread they are being so hard because they are little yeast, a lot of flour, little water. But when the yeast is plenty, water is plenty, flour is not too little, it can be super soft. So now it is super dry. Here there's a lot of flax that fall off from this dove. It just doesn't look smooth. It is dry and flaky, just like how our skin look like after putting it in hot water and take it out. And by pulling it, the lights are crazy. And by pulling it apart, it just it is visible that there are a lot of powder instead of being beautifully burned out. And I am going to add a tiny bit of water into it and mix the face again. Give it a little punch. Ah! Uh, ah! And then toss it into the missing set. This one I got from Towers for just 35 euro. And let it turn. This is how it looks. So it observed that it is being a clump, a clump, a clump, a clump, and it doesn't stick to the base. So it is a good thing. It is not too wet, it is not too dry, and it is able to be treaded. And when it is being treaded, it is going to be softer and softer and softer after a lot of bits. 